in this next video in our Admiral RX 600 Stability Plus Gyro series, we're going to be talking about making sure your gyro is correcting in the proper direction. So how do we do that? Right now we're going to use the BAE Hawk as our template and you are looking at the receiver which is installed in the correct direction as all the other videos you've seen. This is how you need to have your gyro installed with the wording that way and the ports after the plane but now you'll see the first three dip switches so in the one video i talked about dip switches i said we're not going to worry about one two and three until we get to this video that's because one two and three that's how you're going to reverse the correction for your aileron elevator and rudder as you see here but now in order to do this and to see it properly what i like to do is rack the gains on your pots see your three pots for aileron rudder and elevator i'm going to turn those to the max so I can get an exaggerated look at how the control surfaces are functioning when I'm making sure they are moving in the right direction. So that is all a big clockwise turn. One, ailerons all the way up, rudders all the way up, and now elevator is all the way up. Let's see, there it is. So now we are all racked and you can see my pots are all in the off position. Off is when the switch is towards the ports. On is when the switch is towards what would be the nose of the aircraft or this wording here. So one, two, and three are in the off position. Now you can widen out and you can see right off the bat that my throws are crazy exaggerated. You never want to fly like this, but that's because I turned the pots all the way up. Okay, so now we're focused on the left aileron on the BAE Hawk. And now I'm gonna make an exaggerated right bank angle. And if it is functioning correctly, this gyro should pop up first because if when the uh, control surface moves up, that's gonna try to give me a left corrective bank angle. So let's see, ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. You see that the uh, aileron is going up because it's trying to correct me. When I make a right bank angle, it's trying to correct me back to center. So that means I don't have to reverse that pot. That's working well. Let's go to our elevators. So you see our elevator here. When I do a nose down situation, my elevator should pop up because it wants to correct back to um, get my nose up again. But now you can see I go nose down and my elevators are going down. So that's reversed, that is wrong. So what you do is, let's go back to our pot. So now I'm looking for the one that says elevator and that's pot number two. So if you could see that there, looking for elevator and I'm gonna move that dip switch over to the on position. So now you can see the one in the middle, one, two, and three, that one is now on, let's check. Now we're back on our elevator. I'm gonna do nose down and my elevator pops up. That's exactly what I want. Nose down and the elevator goes up right away. And then it goes back. Obviously it's gonna correct itself back to center regardless, but you just wanna make sure that it is going up when you go nose down and that is uh, a perfect elevator setting. So now let's check the rudder. That's the last thing. So now rudder, when I make a right movement, the rudder should move into the motion, and it's not. The rudder is moving opposite. So my rudder right now is wrong, because if I make a right turn, this is, gonna, this is correcting to continue my right turn, which is gonna be wrong. I need it to correct the opposite direction and bring me back to, uh, bring me back to center. So let's do that now. So we go in, we have our rudder port. Rudder dip switch is number three, and I'm gonna move rudder up. Now, my rudder should correct. If I make an exaggerated turn, if I make a right turn, it's correcting me back to left, which is what I want. It's gonna correct me straight. So my rudder is moving it's really, in, in essence, your rudder surface should move into the way your tail goes. And that's the way it's going. So I hope you guys can see that. And that'll do it, guys. That's how you set your correction direction on your Admiral RX 600 gyro. And we'll see you in the next video.